everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm super excited for because I'm pretty hungry and it's all about food. So in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I thought it'd be fun to test and taste test more specifically different kinds of Thanksgiving themed frozen ready to go meals. So I went to my local grocery store and found five different contestants for today's video. And if you know me, I'm a lady of convenience. I like things simple, I like things fast, I like things easy, and uh, you know what? Frozen foods are right up my alley. <laughs> and I feel like for any college students out there, they're probably right up your alley as well. So hopefully this video will be a little bit helpful. But let me share with you what frozen food companies we are taste testing today to see who has the best on-the-go Thanksgiving meal. Check it out, let's do it. Okay, number one, we're starting off with the classic, and I'm probably a little biased towards this, Hungry Man. So I have eaten Hungry Man for a long time, ever since I was a little kid, I remember eating these. And so I very well know the taste of this meal, because when I don't always eat, sometimes I'll just pop one of these into the microwave and go with this. Our second contender is Marie Callender's Roasted Turkey Breast and Stuffing. So it has turkey breast with mashed potatoes, stuffing, and vegetables in a savory gravy. Now I usually buy Marie Callender's chicken pot pies. I've never had this before, and I love their chicken pot pies, so uh, this also might be a close contender. I don't know. We'll see, but anything with mashed potatoes in it, I'm gonna love, because I love mashed potatoes. Okay, now moving on to the ones I've never tried before. So this is by the brand Banquet. And we have the turkey meal. Turkey with gravy and dressing, creamed mashed potatoes, and sweet peas. Basically the essentials. It got everything you need in this tiny little box. So I'm pretty excited. And it has, it says it's made with real cream for the mashed potatoes. None of that fake stuff. Then we have the smallest box by far, and this is Stouffer's Roast Turkey. Tender white meat turkey and stuffing in a homemade gravy with russet mashed potatoes. So it looks like it's mostly just mashed potatoes and the turkey. No sides, but you know what? Sometimes plain and simple is the best thing. So we have this one. And then lastly, we have the Boston Market Home Style Meals. The turkey breast medallions with steamed vegetables and signature home style mashed potatoes and gravy. I am so hungry reading all these out. And luckily, I um, scored with all these because I'm gonna be putting them in the oven to get to the ultimate flavor because I feel like that'd be the best versus the microwave. And they all require the oven to be at 350. So I'm just gonna bake them all at once and I guess I will be back with the meals all ready to go for a taste test. And yeah, we'll see who the winner is. All right, while the oven is preheating, I thought we'd take a little first look at what is inside of each of them because I've never opened up some of them before. So this is our first reaction. I have all of my cookie sheets ready, and yes, they're all clean, but I've had them for a while, so they look kind of gross, but they are clean. So let's open the Hungry Man first and get it prepared. All right, so this is what the Hungry Man looks like. It's all divided into its separate um, little circles. So I'm gonna have to follow the back of the box to see what I do with the plastic wrap over it. But I'm gonna place it on here and I hope that I won't get everything confused with each other. All right, let's take a look at the Boston Market. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, lots of vegetables. I actually was not expecting this. It's kind of like the Hungry Man, but like instead of any dessert, they just went all vegetables. <laughs> a lot more healthy. All right, Stouffer's, let's take a look. Oh, it's white. Oh, I thought all the containers were gonna be black for some reason, but this one will be easy to distinguish. But this is what this one looks like, kind of just like the last one a little bit, but no vegetables in this one. All right, let's unbox Banquet next. I feel weird unboxing food. <laughs> Never thought I'd be doing this. All right, dun 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 dun. Wow, you can't see anything really because it's like all freezer burn. <laughs> this is the green peas. Green peas? Is that what it's called? Just peas? Green peas? This is what it looks like. All right, last up, Marie Callender. Doo, doo, doo. Whoa! Okay, this one reminds me a lot of that Boston brand with just like a whole section of <laughs> vegetables and then the chicken and mashed potatoes. So, 
All right, let's pop them in the oven and get them cooking. Okay, the first two Thanksgiving meals are done and ready to be taste tested. Now, uh, I would have liked to try all of them together at the same time, but they all have to bake at slightly different times. And so by the time the rest are done, these two will be cold. Like they're extra like 15, 20 more minutes. So <clears throat> we're just gonna try the two that have finished early. So that is Stouffer's, Stouffer's and Banquet. So let's try them. All right, now that I have taken them out of the oven, they look a lot better than they did when they were frozen. So this one is the Stouffer's. It's so cute and small. I've never seen a little tiny Thanksgiving and a little to-go bin, but it's like so cute. My voice is going. I don't know where it's going, guys, but if I sound weird, I'm not sick. I, at least I don't think I am, but. And then our other one that we have is the Banquet. So I think we should compare and contrast the um, gravy, the chicken, and the stuffing, um, and the mashed potatoes, obviously, because that's what they have in common. Just the banquet has green peas and Stouffer's has no vegetable. All right, so let's start off with banquet. Oh, it's really hot. It like just came out of the oven. So I'm gonna try their mashed potatoes first, which actually doesn't look the greatest compared to Stouffer's. I'll try to, to see if you guys can see that. So this is what Banquet looks like close up. Their mashed potatoes just kind of look like instant mashed potatoes, nothing really fancy. While Stouffer's actually looks like it has a little bit of homemadeness. Like obviously it's not, but it has like flecks of probably black pepper or seasoning in it. So it looks really good. So we're gonna start off with the mashed potatoes because that's my favorite part of Thanksgiving. So here is Banquet's mashed potatoes. Hot. So I'm pretty sure I'm right. Um, I think there might be a little bit of butter on here. Definitely not fancy mashed potatoes. It's good though, it's not gross, but nothing really special. I think it's just your classic, traditional, frozen food mashed potato. So let's try the Stouffer's mashed potatoes. Oh, this one going into it was a lot creamier and a lot easier to do. Mmm, and I can smell it and it smells so good. It smells like it has like butter and seasoning in it. But weirdly enough, it has less flavor. Yeah, I don't really like the Stouffer's mashed potatoes. What? Let me try the other one. Yeah, Banquet's potatoes look way gross. Like, don't they don't look way gross. Banquet's potatoes look just like, they didn't really put a lot of thought and effort. They just put some mashed potatoes in there and called it good, but it's way better. I don't know what's in this one, but Banquet pleasantly surprised me. Okay, I'm gonna try their green peas. Mushy, but not like mushy mushy that they would just like mush in the container. Also, I think have some butter or something in it. It's just like a bag of frozen peas that you heat up. All right, let's try the turkey from Banquet. Pretty good slab of turkey. Let's try Stouffer's tiny turkey bites. Hot. Ugh. I don't know what it is about Stouffer's, but I don't like it. What? I'm so confused, because you would think this one tastes so much better. Okay, I'm gonna try some gravy and stuffing. Again, not that much flavor. It just kind of all just feel like tastes like mush, like water. So let's try the banquets gravy and stuffing. Their stuffing is almost non-existent. There's not a lot in here. Maybe it's just mostly underneath the turkey. I can't really tell. This one. 20,000 times better. But so far, Banquet's getting a thumbs up. Stouffer's, I would not repurchase. It's on the bottom of the totem pole of my ranking system. Fifth place for me. So um, I'm just gonna keep enjoying Banquet while the others finish. And then we'll see how these two compare to 
the rest of the Thanksgiving meals. All right, the rest are out of the oven. They've cooled off for a little while and now it's time to taste test them. So first of all, let's try the Boston Market brand. And that one, oh my gosh. It's so hard to tell what is what now. They all look the same. So here we are. This is what it looks like. We got a little bit of a, oh my gosh, it's hot. <laughs> I never learned my lesson. Let's try it. They're vegetables. It looks like there's carrots and green beans. It just tastes like um, frozen vegetables, but there's like not a lot of flavor. I would recommend probably putting salt on this because there's no seasoning at all. I think you could use a little bit of salt. Um, but let's try the other vegetables and see which one has the best vegetable. So this one is the Marie Callender meal. And it has the green beans and carrots in it as well. Honestly, tastes the exact same. And then Hungry Man. This is what the Hungry Man looks like. All right, let's try. They have carrots, green beans, and corn in theirs. And it has flavor, wow. Let's move on to the mashed potatoes taste test. So we're gonna go back to um, Boston's mashed potatoes and gravy. Wow! That tastes really good. I think it makes a big difference where you put your mashed potatoes because in the other two with Stouffer's and Bakewit, the mashed potatoes were isolated from the gravy and like they were still good but this definitely has a lot more flavor um and i think they, even the mashed potatoes on their own have a lot more flavor all right let's try the marie calendar mashed potatoes and gravy this one's very thin there's not a lot to it Interesting. It has a different taste to it, and I can't really describe what it is. I think it's like a different, um, there's a different seasoning in it, but I just don't know what it is. Like, you know, like the rosemary and cilantro and thyme. What are those things called? It's definitely salty and savory which are my favorite things. I would eat the rest of this. Like this is super good. Honestly, I think I would prefer the Marie Callender's mashed potatoes and gravy over the Boston one. But let's try the classic Hungry Man mashed potatoes and gravy. So this one actually doesn't have a lot of flavor after having this one at, right after the Marie Callender. I would say out of the three, that one probably had the least amount of flavor. I'm surprised. Marie Callender's um, mashed potatoes are actually really good. I actually really like them. So now let's try the meat and stuffing, which is arguably the most important part of the frozen Thanksgiving meals. So the Boston brand does not have stuffing with it. So we're just gonna try the meat. The meat is pretty good, but it doesn't like wow me with its flavor. It doesn't have like a super strong flavor, but it also doesn't just taste like watered down stuff like the Stouffer's one did, sorry to say. Um, I think it's getting most of its flavor from the gravy and mashed potatoes that it's engulfed in. But I'd say it's still really good. Like I would eat the rest of this. All right, Marie Callender, let's see what you got for your meat. Pretty good. Then let's try the stuffing. Whoa, 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 what? <laughs> At first that stuffing kind of tasted like mint. Like it gave me gum vibes, which I don't know how. I think there's just some, some seasoning in here that I just can't recognize, but like it's strong. Wow, the stuffing has a lot of flavor, but I don't know if I like it actually. All right, now for Hungry Man. Let's try their meat. Pretty good, what I'm used to, but 
not as much flavor as Marie Callender. I'm like really shocked by Marie Callender right now. Let's try the stuffing. The stuffing is more bread crummy. Like, it's a lot more bread flavor. So I would say that the best meat and mashed potatoes definitely has to be Marie Callender. It like actually tastes like real meat. Um, I just don't really like the stuffing as much. I don't prefer it. But we have one last thing to taste test and that is the dessert of Hungry Man. That's a little bonus Jonas of this brand is that it's the only one that I found that gives you a dessert with your meal. And so this one is apple crumble. It looks so good. Mm, it's so good. It's very sweet. It's just like pie filling kind of. It has little chunks and sauce of, of apple. So that one's a thumbs up. I like it. So that was a fun little experiment to see how all these brands um, differed in their Thanksgiving kits. Now they're not like promoted as Thanksgiving kits, but they're all turkey, mashed potato, stuffing themed, which is like, you know, the traditional Thanksgiving meal. So now I'm going to rank order my favorite to least favorite meal and give you a reason why. Okay, number one, I'm gonna have to say Marie Callender's roasted turkey. Turfy. All right, for number one, I'm gonna have to go with the Marie Callender's roasted turkey breast and stuffing kit. I was actually really pleasantly su surprised, especially because I've never tried this before. But I should know with their chicken pot pie recipe that this would be good anyway. I really liked their chicken and their mashed potato and gravy. Like the flavor was definitely the most distinct and most powerful, I guess. It had a very strong flavor compared to all the other kits. Number two, I'm gonna have to go with Hungry Man. I really liked how they included a dessert. It's just a nice switch up of flavors after having many savory things. You can finally have that little bit of sweet aspect to your meal. I also just kind of grew up on this, so I just prefer the taste in general, but um, I really do like their mashed potatoes and gravy and their meat tastes good too. Number three I'm going to have to recommend is Boston Market's chicken, mashed potatoes, and um, vegetables. So I thought that it was pretty good. The mashed potatoes had a lot of flavoring compared to um, the last two which you'll see in a bit. But the chicken and the vegetables didn't wow me. Like it was all right, which is why it's going in the middle. Um, it just, I don't know. It didn't have the most flavor, but it didn't taste like water. Fourth place has got to be Banquet. Um, I thought they were pretty good. Um, I don't really have a lot to say about them because they were meh. I mean, I basically ate the whole thing, so it's not disgusting, but it's not like delicious and I would re purchase this again, especially after trying the other brands. And then lastly, I'm gonna put Stouffer's as number five. I just think that everything tasted very watered down. The mashed potatoes, like, it looks so appetizing. It actually looks really real, like real mashed potatoes. It looks like real chicken, but there's just no flavor at all. At least for me, I didn't taste much of anything. I think they really lacked in the seasoning department. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to uh, keep finishing <laughs> these Thanksgiving meals that I have out, but I hope you guys found this little experiment useful. <laughs> um, hopefully someone out there is like me and sometimes just needs a good frozen meal because they don't want to cook or they're in a pinch of time or something like that. I hope you guys have a very happy holiday if you celebrate Thanksgiving. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you are new. And give me some other video ideas for taste testing other products. I know in the past I've done like a ranking Pringles flavors and ice cream flavors. So let me know what other brands you would like to have me rank. But yeah, this was really fun and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.